Liger, not a myth, not a movie monster, but the largest cat ever recorded on Earth. Born from a male lion and a female tiger, two apex predators combined into one biological glitch. A liger can grow over 400 kilos. That's heavier than a grizzly bear and longer than a standard car. Here's the problem. In the wild, lions and tigers never meet. Different habitats, different behaviors, different worlds. So nature never installed a size limit. Lions pass growth genes, tigers pass growth genes, and nobody hits the brakes. The result? A massive body, fragile joints, shorter lifespan. This isn't evolution, it's a biological loophole. Impressive? Absolutely. Healthy? Not even close. And this is just the beginning. Because the next hybrid exists not because of curiosity, but because of climate change. Growler Bear, also called the Pizzly. And no, this one wasn't made in a lab. It's the hybrid of a polar bear and a grizzly bear, two species that stayed apart for thousands of years until the ice started melting. Polar bears move south, chasing food. Grizzlies move north, expanding territory. Eventually, they collide. The result? A bear with the size of a grizzly, the long neck and skull of a polar bear, and a hunting style that mixes both worlds. This hybrid isn't weaker. It's often more adaptable. It can hunt seals. It can hunt land prey. It survives where pure species struggle. This isn't a cute accident. It's a biological warning sign. Nature isn't asking for permission. It's adapting faster than we are. And the next hybrid? That one was created on purpose because humans really wanted a striped horse. Zorse, half zebra, half horse, and entirely unnecessary. Humans looked at zebras and thought, what if this, but rideable? So they crossed a male zebra with a female horse, because the other way around, usually lethal. The result is an animal with zebra stripes and horse-sized expectations. Zorses inherit the wild instincts of zebras, which means panic, aggression, and zero interest in being friendly. They're faster than horses, more resistant to disease, and significantly harder to control. That's the irony. The stripes people wanted for beauty come attached to a personality built for survival. You don't tame a Zorse. You negotiate with it. And the next hybrid? That one swims, thinks, and might actually be smarter than you. Walfin, a hybrid that sounds fictional but very much exists. It's the result of a false killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin, two species from the same family, close enough genetically. The first confirmed Walfin was born in captivity and later did something unexpected. It reproduced successfully. That's rare. Most hybrids stop at the first generation. Physically, it sits right in the middle. Teeth count between both parents, body shape halfway. Swimming style, slightly awkward, but efficient. But the most interesting part isn't the body, it's the brain. Both parents are highly intelligent, social, capable of learning complex behaviors. The Wolfen inherits all of that. Problem solving, communication, curiosity, which raises a quiet question. When intelligence overlaps, what exactly are we creating? And the next hybrid? That one lives in your house and looks illegal for a reason. Savannah Cat. It looks domestic until it moves. This hybrid comes from a serval, a wild African cat, and a domestic house cat. The goal was simple. Wild appearance, predictable behavior. The result? Only partially successful. Savannah cats are tall, long legs, oversized ears, built more like a predator than a pet. They can jump over two meters from a standing position, open doors, solve simple problems. Behavior depends on genetics. Early generations act closer to the wild. Later generations behave more like cats. That difference matters because in many places, ownership is restricted or completely banned. This animal lives between two worlds, too wild to ignore, too domestic to classify. 
And the next hybrid? That one wasn't made for beauty. It was made as an experiment. Comma, not a nickname, an acronym, camel and llama. This hybrid wasn't discovered, it was engineered. Scientists wanted an animal with the strength of a camel and the calmer temperament of a llama. The problem? Camels are massive, llamas are not. Natural breeding was impossible. So, humans stepped in. Using artificial insemination, a camel embryo was carefully adjusted to grow inside a llama surrogate. The result was smaller than a camel, stronger than a llama, and surprisingly stable. No hump, long legs, thick coat, and a temperament closer to calm than chaos. This wasn't curiosity, it was optimization a hybrid created to solve a problem. But once you start designing animals, it's hard to know where the line should be. And the next hybrid? That one pushed raw power to its absolute limit. Jag lion, a jaguar, and a lion combined. This hybrid isn't subtle. It's built from two predators designed for power. Jaguars deliver the strongest bite among big cats. Lions bring size, mass, and social dominance. Together, the jag lion becomes something heavier, more compact, and visibly overbuilt. Its skull is thicker, its shoulders wider, its muscles denser. Unlike some hybrids, this one doesn't look unstable. It looks excessive. But power has a cost. More mass means more stress on joints. More muscle demands more energy. In nature, balance matters. Efficiency keeps species alive. The jag lion skips balance and goes straight to force. Impressive to observe, unnecessary to exist. And the final hybrid? That one proves nature doesn't need perfection, just functionality. Mule, one of the oldest hybrids on Earth, and still one of the most useful. A mule is born from a male donkey and a female horse. No mystery, no experiment, just practicality. Mules are stronger than horses their size, more resistant to disease, more patient under stress. They can work longer, carry heavier loads, and survive harsher environments. So what's the catch? They can't reproduce. Different chromosome counts, different genetic instructions. The system doesn't sync. The mule is efficient, reliable, and biologically final. It proves something important. A hybrid doesn't need to last forever to be successful. It just needs to work. Nature doesn't care about legacy, it cares about results. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, leave a like, hit the bell, and tell me which hybrid animal surprised you the most.